Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I forgot to start up some music in the background, but I will get that started right now. Mm. And welcome back to another um, Lamag. Let's make a game. Right now, we are currently going through um, a specialty of little things. What, uh, we're going through a tutorial uh, right here. And this is where we left off yesterday. Now, I just tested it, very last thing that we did, and I found that this was stuck. I figured it out, but I wanna show you so you know what's going on. So, right there's our, our item, right? That's, that's our furniture, it's not working. What is going on? Hit stop, okay? This is what happened. When we uh, placed this in the, the ground, it created a weld. So, that weld is still in the workspace, right here. It's actually welded to the, to the floor. Look, see see how it says join right there? I don't know if you can see it. You might need to maximize. Right here, it says join. And what that's doing, it's joining this object because I've got join surfaces selected right here. We can uncheck that and move this and it's no longer selected. So that table where its base had joins at, if you select it and then move it, boom, joined. It made, made bleh, it makes a weld. We don't want that. So uncheck the join, move it around, and then we can grab it and we can drop it into furniture and hit play. Boom. Like that. And, and I was really excited when this worked. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm placing stuff. I'm moving it. And if we hit uh, R, it rotates it. What? Now here's, um, I know that this is going to be part of the tutorial, but check this out. If you hit stop and we take this, move it upwards, and we're just going to rotate it uh, right here, point, like that, and then hit F5. This should be anchored, so it should be in place. The surface of the canvas area is still being used. Like, see that? Boom. And it's going off of our mouse and it's trying to set the C-frame, all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, I just wanted to show that to you real quickly. And then we can, whoops, uh oh, control Z, blink. Uh, we need to rotate it back down, don't we? Blink, like that, and then boom, like that. Should be fixed. That sounds really loud tonight for some reason. Anyhow, this is working. And the way I figured that out is because um, I saw that the, the uh, the placement wasn't moving, so I came down here and I was like, well, CF has got to be something, so I'll do print CF, and then I hit play, and I saw that my mouse was moving, and that I had a C-frame actually popping up, I'm like, but it wasn't moving anything, and then that's what I was like, okay, why is it not moving, and that's when I figured out the joints, so, let's head back over to the tutorial. Now that we have a basic working surface of the model, let's try testing it out. Uh, and then here is where everything was. Yes, yes, yes. And it shows this demo. Uh, everything looks good, but something, uh, but sometimes we might be locked to the grid. Uh, to do, wait. But sometimes we might want to lock to a grid. To do this, we are going to return uh, to our C placement frame method and round the X and Y variables to the nearest grid value. So this is the next part of the placement uh, and it's going to be this little if statement right here. So let's go back over the placement and it is calculate placement frame, right? Calculate placement frame, model position, all that good stuff. And okay, local G equals self grid unit. If G is greater than zero, then math x equals math dot sign x. Wait, what? Absolute value of x minus absolute value of x modulus g. What is g? Uh, oh, divided by g. Okay, let's do this. Copy that. Calculate placement C frame. Calculate placement C frame. Do we just need to add this up here? Oh gosh. There we go. That should work. You would think. 
g equals self dot grid unit. Wait, didn't we have grid unit somewhere? Self dot grid unit equals one. So it's referring to itself, which was set up here whenever we created the new canvas. So x equals math dot sign if g is greater than, than self. Those are not locals either. So these variables are set so they can be used down here. Otherwise, they get rid of them inside the if statement. Uh, is greater okay? So if if g is greater than zero, because you can't do a divide by zero or a modulus by zero. I guess you could modulus by zero because it would just be a zero. But anyhow, you don't divide by zero. Mm, plus size x two. Okay, so that should set us. Hold on, what happened down here? One of the properties I didn't explain earlier. X, Y. Is this, uh, the, what's going on down here? Okay, I don't think this is going to work. I think it's still going to be off because... Yeah, that's not going to work. Replicated storage, bad argument, sign number expected and got nil. Placement calculate C frame. Placement calculate C frame module position. One properties. Now the G unit is two placement two two by twos. Okay. We have to get X and Y. So let's take this portion right here. Oh, sorry. Hit stop so we're not playing with the code there. And let's come down below here. There we go. So we have to put it after the local X and Y have been declared. I was looking at these and I'm like, wait, that's, that's not right. So that should work. There we go. Now we're on grid placements. And these are one by ones. And that's because it's set by the canvas itself. If we go back into placement, this one here. Uh, we can set this up to twosies. And that should be two units. <laughs> Nice. That's that's fun. It's a fun little thing. Okay, what about uh can we, can we go up to like fours? Actually, let's try something, okay? Because we said that the placement is a new canvas, right? This placement is a new canvas. So what happens if I say placement dot grid unit? What was it called? We'll see. We'll see if this is protected or not. Dot grid unit equals five. Just out of context here. Just playing with the code. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can we can set it way outside. Uh, okay. So let's do this. Um, that's run step rendering. Let's do this. We'll set it to five. Uh, then we will wait for about ten seconds. Then we'll set it to a one. Just for fun. Just just to see what happens here. Okay, so there we go. We're moving at five units, five units, five, 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 five. We can do rotates as well. And this should switch back to a one. There it goes. Nice. Tidy. <laughs> okay, sorry. Just uh, just playing around with the code. That's all. Uh, oh, and you guys can't see that, can you? There we go. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, let's we'll switch back over. Okay, now, now we can set the grid units to two, and they will be locked in a two by two grid, placing the object right. So, in my opinion, getting objects to snap and to constrain to the surface is the hardest part. 
but there's still a few other things that we have to do before our placement system can be complete. The main thing that we will have to yet cover is the finalizing of an object's position and then locking it there. This is quite easy in our current form as all we have, uh, as all we, wait, current form as all we have all the information, but we need to make sure that we do the placement on the server. We'll do this with a new method called place, if uh, which will fire a remote event to place the event object, or to place the object. So here's the new method. Oh gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh, get ready for it. Maybe not, it's gone. My nose is getting all clogged up because it's cold out here. All right, so here's the new method. Uh, function, place, model, and C frame. If server, then do this. If not, then invoke this, right? Invoke fire server, place, invoke placement. And that's a lowercase i again. We're gonna have to switch that up to a uppercase i. Put into action local function on place action place if the user state enumeration begin then okay so function on place user input state this is going to be inside game server service context bind okay so this is okay uh, let's just view the source code we'll take all of this control a copy and we'll go back over to our code. Uh, the first part inside here, paste this part we want to take out. So right here's our actual placement. Here's the new method. And we're just gonna call this uh, place method. Okay, so when we call placement dot place or placement colon place, which is the function, it will take in a model and a CF or a, a, a frame, a C frame. Uh, if it is the server, then local clone equals model clone. So if it's on the server side, it's going to clone it out and then clone set primary part C frame, clone parent self canvas object. Um, does it have to be locked in place? I guess it doesn't have to be locked in place because it's modeled and, and it's all welded. So uh, if it is not the server, then we invoke fire server. And this is actually going to be a capital I invoke placement. Didn't we have an invoke placement up here at the top? We have initiate placement on invoke placement there we go and we got to call that local invoke placement equals remotes dot invoke placement I hope I spelled that correctly so that will take in the two remotes and that no longer has a little thing on it like yep we can do that one Invoke placement, fireplace, place, uh, model. So we need to link this somehow. Placement, calculate, place. Then we have on, okay. Initiate placement, book server. Placement canvas. Hold on, where is on invoke server? Canvas objects placement. Let's invoke server. Can server run server is service? Yes, yes, yes. So this is the script function player. Wait, what? And this is my placement. 
which we have to invoke. I'm confused. Where does the other piece of this code go? <clears throat> Put it into action. Local function on place. Okay, so this right here is actually gonna go inside here. So it's going to be a local function called on place, action name, user input, input, user state equals enumeration begin. If the, the user state is begin, then the cold, the, I keep wanting to say cold fusion, then the um, C frame, placement, calculate C frame. And these are all lowercase, right? Calculate C frame, table, mouse hit P, rotation, placement, fire, place, furniture, table, model, CF. Okay. But how's that going to... Okay, if it is not the server, invoke placement. But we don't have anything listening to invoke placement. Local invoke placement. I thought we had to have a listener of some kind. Of course, didn't we have initial placement of some kind up here? Yeah, right there. Initiate placement. Invoke server canvas part. Canvas object. Let's try it. Whatever. I have a feeling that it's not going to work. There's going to be something going wrong there. Maybe not. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. <laughs> All right, I was right. It's not anchored. So, um... Hmm. How do we anchor it? Set primary C frame. Uh, I guess we could just come in here, click on the main part of the model, which would be the bounding box, and say anchored, like that. Wouldn't that work? And then every one that we created. Oh no, that, that doesn't work at all. Okay, so we cannot anchor. Oh, cast shadows. Oh, do, 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 do. I guess after the placement, calculate C frame, table model, mouse hit. That's under the run service, right? Find action place. So let's go into placement. And under the place function, if server clones it, clone parent equals the canvas objects. And then let's say clone dot uh, primary part dot anchored equals true. Let's try that. Is it primary part or git primary part? I think it might be git. Well, nope, that... <laughs> That's funny. So the primary part's anchored. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Um. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if it's already in here somewhere. Find action on place. Enumerate mouse button one. Uh, I guess we could actually change this to enumerate key binds. Key binds. Okay, so instead of the mouse button one, we are going to enumerate uh, key code E. Key code dot E. Which should be the same as placing. Or is it E or is it F? I think it might be E. Okay, 
Yeah, it's E. That's kind of cool. Kind of. Not really. All right, stop. Um, what do we need to do? Let's see. Can I can I create welds in between these? Let's see. Uh, constraints. No modules. Weld. 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 Create weld. Hold on. Create a weld. Oh, I can't. Okay, fine. Let's just put this out in the workspace. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, main part to the to that. And then all these other ones should have a weld on them already. Uh oh. Oh <laughs> forgot to put it back in the furniture. Blink. There we go. F5. Go. Aha! Except it's all non-collide. Oh, dang it. All right. Stop. Uh, let's go to this. Uh, the binding table, we can actually set the transparency all the way to one now. Uh, and all of these we can place as can collide. So the bounding box is non-collide in the... There we go. Ha ha ha! No. <laughs> nice. Just to show that these are all one unit away. Oops. I guess I could just do this. And then E E E E E. Now what's kind of interesting is I'm able to place them inside one another, which I bet he's going to teach us about. So, let's hit stop, and let's get back over to the tutorial. So, enumeration E instead of the mouse button, which is absolutely fine. We can do that. Hopefully, you've noticed from the GIF above, everything looks pretty good, with the exception that we can currently overlap objects. Uh, that uh, the way we will deal with this is by creating a method that checks if we can validly place an object down and then pass in pass that to our place method so um, here's the next function which is called is colliding module local colliding currently false uh, local touch equals model dot primary part touched connect function end um, local touching equals model dot primary part get touching parts. Wait, what? Okay. So we're passing in the model. And if that model's primary part dot touched, we're connecting, connecting a function end. So this is an anonymous function. It doesn't do anything. It says function end. So if it's touched, it's no longer true. Uh, get touching parts. If intersecting with something that isn't part of the model, then can't place. Oh, okay. For i equals one to number of touching, which would be these, do. If not touching i, which is a variable of one to the number of things it's touching is descendant of model then is colliding equals to break out because you don't want to come back in here and say false I guess you're not setting false so you don't have to worry about it but the moment it has one piece that is part uh, it is not part of the model it's going to set that is colliding to true jump out touch disconnect uh, so the touched up here. Oh, okay. So this sets the the current trigger of the primary part touched t 
to nothingness. So that if it is touching something, it won't touch something when you go to get the touching parts. Okay, so when I have an object and I placed it down onto another brick, technically the thing that it's touched is triggered. So when you get touching parts, it's going to always say the canvas part or whatever part we placed it on. We don't want that. That's why they did the anonymous function here. So it says, hey, don't worry about that touch. Now check to see if anything's inside or, or colliding with it. If it is, then we're going to set is colliding to true, breakout, and then down here it says touch, all right, which is a variable that we said this is the function that we're connecting. We're going to disconnect that function so it goes back to saying, hey, the part that it was touching is fine. And then return is colliding. <sighs> okay, and then under the placement, we're going to have to modify and say if not is colliding and is server, then do this. Then if is server, then fire place. Okay. Bo, 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 bo. Actually, we can just copy this all over. Uh, hold on. Select all. Control A is a select all, by the way, if you didn't know. Here is our placement module script. Uh, Placement.place. So I can actually take this right here. Boink. Just paste that in there. Come over here. So. Uh, leave a comment in here. Uh, function. No, we're going to call it a method. Method to check if part or if model is touching anything not of itself. So basically this right here, if is not colliding. So whenever this is returned, if it's false, then this says not false. So it's a true and it is the server. Then we call the clone. Uh, if it is not the server, not is server, then we invoke the placement, which has to be a capital I. Fire server place. Model CF is colliding. Is colliding. Oh, oh, we passed in another thing. Is colliding. Okay, cool. Let's hit it. So, E. What in the world? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's hit stop. I'm going to go back to this my placement thing. Take this out. Table set primary C frame C frame. On service. Okay, that's actually just the movement around if place. Oh, we forgot to anchor it again because I had special code in there, didn't I? Hold on, what code did I have? There it was. So clone.primaryPart.anchor equals true. So we're going to hit Y on that again. Uh, Self.canvas object, and then we're going to say clone dot uh, primary part dot anchored equals true. There we go. That should anchor it down for us. Now that should, okay, what happened right there? What in the world? Why did I get a second place going on here? Okay, I'm confused. Close that. Hmm. What did we miss? Let's hit stop. Uh, we've been programming for 30 minutes. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. So when we turn on past A, place on fire, key bind with the E. Uh, we have to check one. Close that. Clean up and return. If not in server, then place. Awesome, we don't have to worry about the overlapping part anymore. They didn't set any kind of colors though. Okay. Hopefully you noticed that the, the buff gif that would be a good idea. Calm down, blah, 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 place method. Okay, place is colliding model. If is colliding equals false, uh, must have a touch interest for getting touch parts method to work. Oh, okay. So model dot primary part dot touched doesn't exist because you don't have well actually I don't know why that works get touching parts if intersecting isn't part of the model okay let's go back over here to placement um, if not is colliding and is server so let's do this Let's do print touching. This should say a table of some kind whenever we place, right? It's not saying a table. Am I not seeing it on this side? Let's go to home and Check this side. It's not firing. <laughs> okay, let's go back over to place. It's colliding. So, if is colliding and is server. Print is colliding and is server. Oh, sorry, not colliding is server. And then this one, place uh, not server. There we go. This way, whenever we fire the placement, we can tell which one of the scripts it is. Not server, not colliding is server. Not server, not colliding is server. Okay. Not colliding is server. So the first one, not server, is invoking the method and actually causing it to place. Huh. That's actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Invoke placement, fire server, place. So we pulled in the remote in here, right? Can I take this out? I wonder if that's going to work or if it's going to fail miserably. <laughs> yep, that failed. <laughs> All right, stop. And control Z, put that back. Uh, let's see. So let's go down to our print. So we know that these two function on the twins are working. So is colliding is a method up here. So print col is colliding was fired. This way we can check to see if we're even calling the function correctly. It's not calling the function. 
Okay, stop. Go back over to placement. Is colliding module. Okay. So, down here... If not is colliding. Placement place is colliding. Placement is colliding. Down here when we place E, it calls the function on place. So Place user input state input. Do we have to check if it is colliding? Model CF is colliding under here. Action name user input state input ah place furniture cf comma placement colon is colliding and we'll call that as a function We'll see if that works. Didn't like it. It didn't like it. <laughs> okay, what did we do? Is colliding was fired, so we passed in the correct thing. Um, but what did we get? Replicate storage attempted to index module a nil value. So model is passed in. Is colliding model placement. Come on, we can reverse engineer this, right? Placement is colliding. This self. What do we need to pass in here? Hold on. Now, if I remember right, the canvas object itself Example canvas has canvas objects. So currently there is a table. Hmm. What is the model that it's checking against? Okay, validly place an object by passing it into the place method. Is colliding model. This is the this is the function is colliding model. But where do we call it? Invoke placement is colliding. Why did we pass in model? Can we touch, can we put in, okay, hold on. Do we need to have the model passed in? We don't, we can just say self. Okay. Let's turn this into self. I think self would work. Let's try that. Just for fun. Did not like that. Okay, attempted to index field primary part a nil value. 
why is primary part a nil value? Because we are not a model. Self dot primary part was not found. What is self though? Okay. Let's do this. Focal for fun equals self. Now, whenever we call it, that should set a value to self. Where's my locals for fun? Value is 3353. Three. Self is a function. 3353, three, which would be a random number for an object for part. Okay, so I trust he knows what he's talking about. So let's go back and just say model, MOD, AO, hey, module, module, model, model. Did I spell model right? Hold on. M O D E L. Wow. Not a strong speller, are you, Code? No, sir, I am not. Hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials, walkthroughs, coding sessions with me. I'm having fun. I don't mind. Model primary part, function in. So, placement is colliding model. So, is colliding self? Stop. Script. Uh, this one. Is colliding placement. <laughs> Didn't like that, did it? Alright, stop. Go back to my placement. Okay. On place. This furniture is colliding. And we should have a model, which is the table model, right? Table model. Let's try that. Just for fun. See if it works. It was fired. But something is colliding. So let's go back over to the placement and is colliding equals false was fired. We're going to get rid of touching if not is descent of model is colliding equals true. We're going to do print and touching I dot name. This way we can see what it's touching. Example canvas. It is the example canvas. Stop. Okay. So, um, what is, okay. If we look here, we have example canvas objects. There's a table. So parent, parent. So this dot parent dot parent. Uh, so on placement canvas model. Uh, we want to check to make sure that the part that we are touching If touching is not descendant of the model and, or I guess it's lowercase and, uh, touching colon I is not equal to, what is it, self dot do we need the quotes in there? I don't know if we need the quotes in there. Parent. There we go. I don't know if that's 
that's gonna work. Okay, storage. Expect an identifier when parsing. Method name that got something else. How did how did that not work? Because I mean we're just now using it right there. Hold on. Am I spelling something wrong? Oh, not equal to. And it's not select. Dang it. Dang it. It's self. Self, not select. Why did it do select? Placement. Self. Self dot parent up here. There we go. There we go. Of course, I don't think. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, we passed in a model, right? Model dot parent dot parent. I think we have to use a quotation or a function. Oh, something. Aha. Ooh, it's working. No, no, but yes, yes, yes. Good job, code. I knew we'd get it figured out. And it only took us 45 minutes to do so. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we're going to rotate one more and place like that. Rotate and place. This is fun. Oh. That does not work. Why does it not work? We should be right on the edge. I guess it thinks that we're touching. We can do it that way but not this way. Oh, I guess we can do it like that. Ah, the, uh, it's slightly off. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough today. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of La Mag. Let's make a game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But really, this is this is not tutorials for you to go out and be like, oh, I, I can learn in 15 minutes what this is. No, this is us taking and breaking down code and walking through scripts and doing everything manually the long way. It's like long division, but with Lua scripting code on Roblox. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I think I already said that, but if I didn't, I'm going to say it again. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know. Do you like these? No? Yes? I don't know. Outro. 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 I'm glad I remembered the music this time.